What's up, everybody? Today on Make It Cozy, we're gonna make personalized logo. Check it out. All right, we're about to make it cozy with a cozy logo. Check this out, you ready? Oh, boom, done. No, nah, I'm just playing. Ah. So this is my logo that I've been using on my thumbnails for quite some time. There's nothing really like outstanding about it. I was just kind of goofing around whenever I was working in tech shop and just came up with this idea just on the fly and I've been using it ever since. And I'm just removing the excess with my 14 inch Delta bandsaw that I got online. And if you want to know how I got this guy up to snuff from being pretty busted up, but a good price, you can check out my video and it'll go through the process of how I got this thing into a really good usable condition. And let's make a quick work of this uh, HDPE that I pressed down. This is about maybe a eh, quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch at that. But it's pretty nice. I just use the back of the blade to do a little detail, just to try to square it up a little bit over to the logo that's in black there that you see. And I just use some spray sticky just to get it on the HDP for the for the bandsaw. But we're gonna save all these pieces because there's no waste, right? I can always remelt and reuse that HDP for another press with my plastic press that I did on the cheap. It's very effective and it works pretty well. And if you want to check that out, I'd appreciate it if you give that a look as well. I'm also saving the drill scraps, saving all of it because making those drill holes for my scroll saw. I got a couple of videos. One of them, I just go over the process of how I, again, buy something super cheap and get it up to usable condition. So if you want to check out my scroll saw one, that goes into a lot of that kind of detail. And then with scroll saw two, I made a sign using a logo from a lyric that I really liked from one of my favorite bands. So if you want to give those two a, a look, that'd be very much appreciated as well. So while I'm changing this blade out, I'm going to use this opportunity to describe a little bit better why I'm producing this video. And it's not just because like I'm making this logo without a 3D printer with my shop, but it's more of a where I stand with my story so far in terms of my maker creative shop space, you know what I mean? So a lot of my videos that I have so far is just like me building it up because the makerspace that I was a part of gave me a lot of skills and empowered me to do my own thing. And now I just want to kind of put this in a point in time to where as like where I stand right now. Boom. There we go. Logo. It's looking pretty good. Almost done. And I just want to scrape away some of the bits right here. And then I'll just go over the flat sides with my disc sander here in a moment. Uh, whoops. But... I just want to make quick work of this. I'm just making some some real quick passes because I don't want the heat and the friction to build up because it is plastic. I don't want it to like remelt. So that's all well and good for the outside, but what about the inside? But don't worry, viewer, because we're going to go on the inside with my scroll saw filing sewing machine thing. I got a video that shows, you know, if you get a new, um, well, new to you sewing machine, antique style like this it shows how you can clean and lubricate and de-rust and and just get a sewing machine in general up to speed but it also just kind of goes over my creative process and how i came to the point of using this for a automatic filer basically and we've all seen the videos that are like super clickbaity and they're like you'll never guess what they did with an old sewing machine and it's like oh it's a scroll saw oh it's a scroll saw oh they made a scroll saw and it's like well that's great and then Having received basically that product from auction, I was like, I don't need another scroll saw, so what could I do differently? And I was like, oh, filing thing, and that's what's up. It's coming to use in spades right now. This is great because I don't have to go in there and, and chug away with a hand file. I can just let the machine do it for me. It's awesome. And I made it myself. And while this guy's working, it's not nearly as aggressive as like the disc sander. So I never really had a moment where I was like, oh no, this is getting too gooey. Like it's not really filing as it is just melting. So I wouldn't worry about that. So I'm just doing the finishing parts right here. And I realized that I got to get the center of that O out of there. But I'll do that with the drill press later and... And here we go. So it's looking pretty nice. And didn't really take me that long to put together, you know, after I had the plastic ready. So hooray, it's very good. I'll just use this uh, razor blade just to trim up any of those little frayed bits. And then I'm also kind of going through. And in hindsight, I kind of regretted 
taking this off afterwards, I probably should have just left it as is, even with the paper, with the liquid sticky, because now it's just like a plain cozy, you know what I mean? So, like, I get it, the paper pops, but it could also peel, even with liquid sticky. But on the other side of the argument, you've got this blank canvas, basically. So maybe we'll revisit that in a, in a future video, but I appreciate you sticking with me. And this is the finished product with a slow-mo. Like and subscribe, please, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace! <laughs>